His name was Geralt of Rivia. He was a witcher, a professional monster slayer. An unusual contract to lift the curse that held a monarch's daughter. It was enough to spend the night with the princess, dusk till dawn. If only she were not a deadly beast, a striga. The traitor responsible for the curse became the bait.
Though gravely wounded, the Witcher lifted the curse and gained fame. The world changed with the coming of the Great War, the time of the sword and axe, the time of disdain. Geralt of Rivia disappeared, all but forgotten. But that's another story.
Hey bro, welcome back to my stream. Oh, we should store it. Side quest, no necessary time skipping. I was waiting. Uh, I took the liberty of taking out the beast in this black turn island. So what the hell? Some experience points won't be unnecessary. All right. Where's the other survivor? Got scared. useful for our level ups. Hmm, some more wyverns. Yeah, if we started to clear out these islands, we should as well clear it entirely. This is awesome, you can handle it without any problem. Hmm, another one. Come to Papa. Yeah, there are some uh, brand issues like Papa Jones and this is Papa Geralt. What the fuck no? Maybe we don't need to um, well sacrifice this cow. Probably we need to uh, I don't know sacrifice some uh, I don't know follower the, or follower of Dagon cult. Why not? I think that's not so, such a bad idea to sacrifice one of the enemy faction warrior for their uh, mythical beast and then slay it. I think that's just perfect tactics and everyone will be happy, no? The Lady of the Lake uh, told me about the compromise and well, that's the compromise everyone should be happy about as uh, what do you know you hate these followers of Dagon? Villagers hate these followers of Dagon, so everyone, everyone should be happy about that. Right? Useless shit. <laughs> pie shit. Pie pie shit. Yeah. Um, this uh, what did I told us about? Hey, Elvin. Yes. All right. Be good. I'll see you later. This what did I told us uh, that we need sacrifices that won't be his people. So probably. That should be uh, the people of opposing infection. Let's go speak with him. He's there. Yeah, here, here he is. He told us that 
he's a guardian of this altar. If he's a guardian, why, why is he such a coward and hides whenever uh, followers of Dagon appear? Talk, Gulpul Talu. The Lady of the Lake wants to help resolve the conflict. Lialu be what? The Lady of the Lake wishes the Vodianoi to live in peace with humans. Killing their favorite cow wouldn't help. Yet Dagon must is loved me. I can take care of that too. But you'd have to give me something. Mm. Oh, big blood bova and better idea. Yet obedient must be for Lady. Choose. Um... I don't know. What the fuck? The Golden Calf. What's that? Let's see which of the ordinary priest gives to suit the Lady of the Lake. If you can help. Alright, let's pick Julian first. I don't like uh, choosing something I even don't know what, about. Wait a bit. Let's see what Calf is. I remember. Uh, well, I almost remember what is that. So let's just check it out. Bull, bull. Ikra. Or Tilion. All right. Another wyver. See, we are 5,000 experience points due to our level up. Or we can also talk to Berengar about his fate or girls. I hope he's fade. Yeah. Have you spoken with the Lady of the Lake? Goddesses don't speak to mere mortals. Spare me the sarcasm. So what momentous news did the local goddess divulge? Just don't get all momentous on me. She spoke about destiny. Destiny doesn't interest me. But if you want to play hero, be my guest. I'll even help. See, I tricked you recently. What? Salamandra actually forced me to betray a few formulae. Subjected me to some tests. I didn't even protest. They paid me well. Why? You know why. I wanted to marry, have children, friends, a normal life. The witches robbed me of that chance. This is nothing new to you. Humans hate me. When they see my eyes, they blanch in fear. And children... Tell me, what's the difference between your dear Camoran and a Salamandra lab? I'm not here to tell you I'm any better than you. Leave. The mere sight of you irks me. I'm beginning to doubt myself. Farewell. What the hell, man? A 
should see the lady of the lake and let her know Berengar's decision. Berengar is a bitter man. He told me he hates the witchers and is miserable as a mutant who is resented by humans. He also admitted he worked with the salamanders partly because he sees no difference between their methods and those of the witchers. Berengar admitted that he worked with salamanders. He should deal with pay for it. Berengar seems to have no interest in destiny. I should see the lady of the lake and tell her. I should see the lady of the lake and tell her no, no, no Berengar's decision. The lady, of the, uh, the lady asked for gifts from the humans and the Vodianoid must go, now go and uh, must get Jew and the Vodian, Vodian priest to, to agree. I see Jew and the Vodian priest and persuade both to agree to a compromise. Well, probably that changes something. Yeah, that also might mean that um, Julian would like to uh, give some present too, but though I don't know which. Right, let's take it one step at a time. First, we need to uh, speak to Lady of the Lake about Berengar. After all, our um, or which are things first? Though I have a feeling that she might help us only after we deal with the problem between uh, Vodianoi and uh, villagers. at least starts to think. Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> Though I think he, uh, he uh, corresponds um, with his thinking that, well, he thought that uh, Geralt is better than him because yes. Lady of the Lake spoke to, to Geralt. Berengar has no interest in destiny. Clearly my vision pertained to you, Geralt. If you say so. When the time comes, I shall aid you with a gift. Lady of the Lake promised me a gift. I need to be patient. And to receive it in due course. All right. That might prove very epic. All right. Let's talk to the Gul Bul Tal Hul. I mean, with Vodian Vodianoi priest. Because I think that Gulbul Talhul is a uh, witcher. There's no animation here. Strange. I was hoping for some because I'm just filling my cup of tea. Alright, let's we'll get to move on. This stream might prove a little bit less interesting than the previous, as we're right now just do, doing, performing some running back and forth. Yeah, well, we were bored, we have some running to do. Oak, Gul 
Pultalhu. The Lady of the Lake wants to help resolve the conflict. Lialul be what? The Lady of the Lake wishes the Vodianoi to live in peace with humans. Killing their favorite cow wouldn't help. Yet Dagon must disloved me. I can take care of that too. But you'd have to give me something. Big blood bovine and better idea. Yet obedient must be for Lady. Choose. Hmm. The golden calf. Let's try that. Let's see which of the wooden priests gives suit to the lady of the lake. Well, between I think it's between gold, the golden calf and uh, uh, golden bracelet because. Uh, golden bracelets she can use, but the golden calf, I don't think so. So probably we made a wrong choice. Also, Basilisk uh, can give us some experience points, so I see no harm in slaying some. Experience points. I th think we can just receive it more and more of them. From a certain point of view, this is not fair to farm experience points in this game, although. Mm, I'm, I'm sure that, also I'm convinced that it is almost necessary. Ah, experience points! Susceptible to silver or not? Why are they? Ah, sensitive to silver. Okay. That's good.
girl, don't do that. Every monster here. I just hope she likes our little present. We have a save game right before we receive that item. Strange thing is, he didn't run off as he was instructed to. Strange boy. By the way, she told us that uh, if Berenger is not interested in destiny, then, um, well, he'll, um, well, if she, if she, her prophecy is not about him. Uh, still, I have my own doubts, because uh, how does she know? Probably it is about him, although both characters just don't uh, suspect that.
fighting or what? Your mother says dwarf cock. Fuck off. No, sucks everyone. Anyone, I mean. Wait a bit, please. Geralt? An agreement with the Vodianoi is possible. I think so. That is the will of the Lady of the Lake. Care to take issue? No, Witcher. I'm no fool. In that case, I'll need something that symbolizes your devotion to her, and your desire to achieve peace with the Vodianoi. Of course. What shall I give you? Hmm. What was the first one? The alabaster figure depicting a young Vodianoi capturing a water elemental. Here it is. It would have fetched a fine price in Vizima, but peace is more important. Of course it is. Let's see which would you is here to the lady of the lake. Can I help you? No, I'm looking for your husband. How can I help? One thing. Yes? Right, we've read our inventory. That should come for something. I hope. Wait a bit, please. Okay, I'm back. Right, that's it. Let's go. figurine from the ordinary city, a gift from the Lady of the Lake. If she rejects this offering, I will have to find something worthy of her. Let's see which of Julian's gifts suits the Lady of the Lake.
We look have a gift, so... Let's go take them to Lady of the Lake. Yeah, right now the gameplay is tedious, we just have to run to and fro, uh, to and fro, and uh, kill the beast in the process just to keep up the level up thing going. <laughs> I know, pretty boring, sorry. <laughs> But Basilisk give us significant uh, amount of experience points and I think we should use it. It gives us so much uh, unlike any other creatures. Mm, 2 a.m. Oops, I <laughs> pushed her. <laughs> Thank god they don't uh, hold a grudge if I just push them. Yes. Um, what the fuck? Farewell. Hmm, maybe I th should put them in altar. What will happen then? I have an idea, but I don't think that this idea will be great. By the way, are there any, are there any beasts around here? Like basilisks? Basilisks are a priority for their input of... Alright, there's no basilisks here right now. For their input of experience points. Which is epic. game, The Witcher, I mean the games of politics between those.
Mm, the golden bracelet. The Lady of the Lake wants to help resolve the conflict. Lialul be what? The Lady of the Lake wishes the Vodianoi to live in peace with humans. Killing their favorite cow wouldn't help. Yet Dagon must is loved me. I can take care of that too. But you'd have to give me something. Mm. Oh, big blood bovine, better idea. Yet obedient must be for Lady. Choose. The gold bracelet. The fuck is going on? Maybe. What? I think some, something is broken in this quest. Probably because I um, didn't talk about this car. Also, this, these are the presents um, Lady of the Lake gave them, so I don't know, I don't suppose that, that would be wise to hand over her presents back. This is not a wise decision, but <laughs> I don't know, it's worth a try, anyway. Wanted. Indeed. Here, pour a drop of my blood onto the altar. Challenge Dagon to a duel. So be it. Alright. I play the ladies Ruby on Dragon Altar and on the Black Turn Island. Finishing blow, by the way, <laughs> level five of uh, of the silver sword master ship. Not too much, much, maybe. By the way, if we are to fight Diagon, I suppose we should take another level up. Although if this is the this is the uh, strong style, then I suppose we might as well use 
our current level. I know that this is not the best course of action. Now what? Kill Dagon, yeah! Shit! Well, first of all, we need to save the game. <laughs> Second, stop it right there. Second, we need to use the upgrade for our sword. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> now, we need to drink something, like this blizzard. <laughs> Various dominant substance. Okay, it's just me fine. What the hell is going on? Come on, girl. is happening Let's kill these Dagon Warshippers. It's getting damaged when I kill those, so I guess we just keep on destroying them. Books, it, it was told that um, Dagon um, takes his power from his worshippers, so I guess killing them is what we should do. Hey, there are three targets here. One, one, one. Shit, come on, yo. 
scope. Shit. that they can't attack me because Geralt is pairing everything. <laughs> Secretions, sunroom, tendons, tendons, what do you know, scales, some more tendons. Yeah, good thing I remembered that killing his uh, worshippers would do the trick. No salute. Or probably they inflicted some damage, but this Rubedo uh, mm, property did the trick of healing me. I really don't know, but see, it, it seems like uh, it did the trick. Or probably that wasn't important at all. I like these invisible walls. Yes. I killed Dagon. In gratitude, I will part the curtain of mists. Allowing you to recall something of your past abilities. Thank you, milady. Use my gift wisely. Milady, it seems I am needed in murky waters. Destiny has brought you here. We must speak. Naturally. I am a goddess. You are the sword of destiny. Death has followed you for years. Perhaps. Accept this gift from the Lady of the Lake. It will help you fulfill your destiny. What gift is that? Neil, Geralt of Rivia, White Wolf. You traveled a long path fraught with danger. You demonstrated courage and goodness. By divine power, I hereby knight you. Face your enemies without fear. Safeguard the helpless. Never lie, even if it means your death. That is your oath. Arise, a knight. Destiny will give you no rest. A long road lies ahead. I see death and blood. I see frosty chaos. Take this sword as a sign of my favor. Once the blade of a great warrior, it lay in the depths for ages, awaiting your arrival. Milady. Shh, Witcher. It matters not if you believe in destiny. With the blade I present you, 
You will complete your mission. Thank you, milady. Go, White Wolf, and do what must be done. May you fulfill your destiny. Wow, this was really epic. Lady reward me for killing the Dagon and bring peace to the Nightwars. Okay. Wait a bit, please. Right. The Lady of the Lake presented me with what looks to be an exceptional sword. It is light, sharp as razor, and fits the hand neatly. It is also a gift from a goddess. I have a feeling it will be very useful. The sword I received has a destiny of its own. Time will tell what that destiny is. Extraordinary sword. The Lady of the Lake must think me important. The Lady of the Lake, she was worth seeing. Died. Wow, damage plus 60%, attack plus 10, chance of critical effects, pain, blind, incineration, and precise hits plus 50%. Well, this sword is epic beyond measure. And I don't, don't know even what these sun rules for. Not only will my must fulfill our destiny, we also need to uh, construct an epic armor. Right. I don't see any visual, visual uh, difference between our initial sword and that one, but it's still epic. Also, we need to level up. Berenger? I betrayed Kier Morin's location to the Salamandra leader. Then I helped them with their research. I was hunting the beast in the outskirts of Vizima when they captured me. I escaped and ran into Kalkstein, accepting his offer to open the tower in the swamp. That's when they nabbed me again. They weren't as nice the second time around. Finding Alvin, bringing him to them, was the only way I could save my skin. Why are you telling me this? I wanted to tell you to your face. See that famous icy glare of yours? So he is a traitor. So motherfucker he is. Enough, traitor. I don't hear remorse. All I hear is self-pity. You hate what the Witchers did to you, all right. But you joined a group that subjects children to experiments with mutagens. Get out of my sight! Draw your sword. I don't advise this. You can't win. I 
follow his tracks, but for such a long time, exp experiencing various emotions, now I feel an eerie emptiness as I look at his corpse, thus ends the story of the Witcher Berengar. Are they buried so oh, okay. That's, that was... Okay, what if we take a second option? I didn't make any save games? What the hell? Oh shit. Here we go again. So awesome that doesn't need this. Doesn't need any potions to defeat these enemies. Also, I guess we have to use this sword. Why not? That's more effective though. Shit, this beast over there is just interfering my actions. I didn't use any potion, I used a better sword and used better tactics, so it took less time. And the epic moment, we'll see it again. Yeah. I just was. I just hope that um, at least I was just hoping that we will just have another save, like a quick you know, auto save, something like that.
Yes. I killed Dagon. In gratitude. Okay, I'll just say um, part the, the microphone. Mists, allowing you to recall something of your past abilities. Thank you, Milady. Use my gift wisely. Milady, it seems I am needed in murky waters. Destiny has brought you here. We must speak. Naturally. I am a goddess. You are the sword of destiny. Death has followed you for years. Perhaps. Accept this gift from the Lady of the Lake. It will help you fulfill your destiny. What gift is that? Neil, Geralt of Rivia, White Wolf. You traveled a long path fraught with danger. You demonstrated courage and goodness. By divine power, I hereby knight you. Face your enemies without fear. Safeguard the helpless. Never lie, even if it means your death. That is your oath. Arise, a knight. Destiny will give you no rest. A long road lies ahead. I see death and blood. I see frosty chaos. Take this sword as a sign of my favor. Once the blade of a great warrior, it lay in the depths for ages, awaiting your arrival. Milady. Shh, Witcher. It matters not if you believe in destiny. With the blade I present you, you will complete your mission. Thank you, my lady. Go, White Wolf, and do what must be done. May you fulfill your destiny. Yeah. I like this video moment. Cutscene. The sword I received has a destiny of so Time will tell what destiny is. Extraordinary sword. The end of the lake is thinking important. Okay. I just hope that um, in the following games we'll have this blade. But it is epic. This and uh, some sort of bone. Okay. Okay, let's try the first option. I betrayed Kier Morin's location to the Salamandra leader. Then I helped them with their research. I was hunting the beast in the outskirts of Vizima when they captured me. I escaped and ran into Kalkstein, accepting his offer to open the tower in the swamp. That's when they nabbed me again. They weren't as nice the second time around. Finding Alvin, bringing him to them, was the only way I could save my skin. Why are you telling me this? I wanted to tell you to your face. See that famous icy glare of yours? I don't intend to judge you. Does that mean you understand? You don't condemn me? I can't condone your choices, but I guess I understand. Meaning? Do what you think is right. I'm not your nanny. Take this. We'll meet again, White Wolf.
Well, that went well. After following his tracks for so long, I find myself unable to strike Berengar down. He's slowed and full of doubt, but he'd become a decent individual someday. I wonder how Berengar's story will end. Berengar went on his, his went his own way. I doubt he will meet again. Berengar's letter, a piece of paper covered with nervous, irregular handwriting. I always believed the witchers had stripped me of the ability to communicate with humans. Now I know this to be untrue. I wrote the reasons I cannot talk to people, so I write this letter instead. Herein I admit, I am a coward. I fear pain, incapacitation and death. I was afraid at Kerr Morgan, afraid when I fought monsters, and finally I feared the professor and other Jared, especially the latter. He supervises Salamander's scientific project, creating deadly creatures from black magic and mutagens. He is a powerful mage, but if my plan works, he will be a dead mage and the witcher's secrets will be safe. In spite of everything, I am content our paths crossed and as I set off now for Wizim, Baron Guard. The Book of Full Moon, excerpts from the witcher's secrets stolen from Care Morgan. Okay. Full Moon increases maximum vitality, Sh Shrike causes damage to assailants who land blows. Hmm, interesting. Vampire Oil increases damage caused to vampires. Dragon Sap, well I have that. Well, we have some new entries here. Vampire Oil, a blade coated with this substance causes increased damage to all types of vampires. The oil is made by mixing ingredients providing one measure each of vitriol, vermilion and hydrogenum, and two measures of cambrian. High quality grease must be used as a base. Duration of effects long lasting. Whosoever seeks to destroy a vampire to banish it from this world forever, should prepare St. Gregory's oil, or vampire oil, by witchers. No flavor or broxa can withstand that. Full moon. This potion significantly increases maximum vitality. Full Moon is made by mixing ingredients providing two measures each of vermilion hydrogenum and one measure of cabrit. Strong top quality alcohol must be used as base. Long lasting effects with high toxicity. Full Moon is, is all purpose potion. Features imbibe it before combat when they are not certain what kind of opponent awaits them. The downside to Full Moon is its high toxicity. Well, like for any. Uh, Good potion. Shrike. It fix pain on the cells during combat. The potion is made by mixing ingredients pouring one measure each of rabies, hydrogen and cabri, two measures of vermilion. Strong top quality alcohol must be used as a base. Long lasting effects with high toxicity. Shrike the potion of revenge mutates the blood of the cell. Whosoever spills a drop of shrike plays blood will earn a measure of pain in return. I had a serious conversation with Berengar, which left me with a bitter understanding of his experience and motivations. Berengar seemed moved and decided to seek peace elsewhere, far away from trouble. Berengar wrote a letter in which he admitted that he was a coward, that he had collaborated with Selmendra and that he had betrayed Ker Morkan. I was moved by our meeting. Berengar set off to Uzima to catch other Jared in the hidden Selmendra laboratory. Okay. Adam. Adam, a younger poet in love with Alina, was accused of killing Selina. He was he has been arrested and awaits trial.
came back. Before Dandelion contemplates whether human life is ruled by destiny, Dandelion mentions the law of surprise, when a witcher demands from men rescue to grow the which he does not accept once he returns home. It turns out to be a child born during the father's absence. Witchers take the unexpected children to their fortresses and train them to be their successors. Then the lion also wonders whether love can bind people with bonds of destiny. In no ballad does he provide a clear answer to the question posed. Many people believe in the existence of destiny, a mysterious force which binds certain people together, determining their fate. According to believers, one can either fl follow the path of destiny of one free will to try to, uh, will or try to resist it, although the latter can bring grim consequences. On the other hand, hmm, some feel that destiny is not everything. These people say that something more is needed in order to bind two lives together, if, even if the rules of fate decide otherwise. I just hope he didn't turn Alvin into these salamander freaks. I mean, here in murky waters. Geralt of Rivia, I've oft heard of your death. Forgive me, but I don't think I've ever heard of yours. White Rayla, what brings you here, Witcher? Slaying monsters, nothing unusual. <laughs> Have you seen a unit of elves in the area? No, no units. Watch what you say, you're hardly untouchable. If I discover you working with the Scoyotel... Threatening me? No. Merely helping you to avoid a serious error whose consequences might prove too dire for you to handle. You watch your step too. I'm not some emaciated elf. I can defend myself. <laughs> I don't doubt it. Know that Vizima is burning. Non-humans have turned it into a war zone. Those poor starving elves are murdering humans by the dozen. My orders are to halt the unit to Ruvia Lepshahil commands and I won't have you getting in my way. They're cowering in the village and have taken hostages. We'll attack soon. I'll talk to the elves. Maybe they'll listen to reason. Siegfried vouched for you, so I'll give you a chance. Your intervention at the bank prevented the Scoyotel from gaining gold to buy arms and provisions. Though weak, I doubt they'll heed you. But you never know. Promise them a fair trial if they lay down their arms. I'll try to persuade them. Wait until I return. You have my word. Where's Zelvin, you bitch? Let's go to the village and speak with Truvio. Where's Zelvin? You... If Berengar got him, that would be very unfortunate. Because in that, uh, with that, he must have died. An order's an order. Well, let's talk to the uh, good bulls first. Fuck off. It's my business to attend to first. I need to speak with Wadi you know, to understand his uh, opinion on what happened. Well, he's not there. Probably good for him. After all, I took this um, golden statue.
There is this damsel. I probably need to. Uh... Yeah, white well, trailer. I need to gain some information first. Yes? I thought the order only accepted the devout. I'm a mercenary, not a monk. I work for anyone willing to pay for non-human heads. Even other non-humans? You have to draw the line somewhere. During the war, my unit provided cover for retreating civilians. The Scoia'tael were the vanguard of the Nilfgaardian army. I think I know how this ends. Do you? They slaughtered my whole unit. Merciful, given what they did to me. Ever been tortured, Witcher? War is cruel. It warps us all, not just elves. Pacifist crap. Are you stupid or something? Rayla and the Knights of the Order were chasing a group of Squiretella and ended up here. It appears that the fugitives and the local elves have taken some hostages in the village. We must speak with Truhill. Then trust Rayla. She promised to hold the soldiers back for now. We must go to the village and speak with Truhill. Hmm. Maybe this chap will say, tell us something. The eternal fire speaks through the Grand Master. The Grand Master is a joke. I'm so glad Geralt did not uh, join the Order of the Flaming Rose. Your foot man. Hey man, what's up? As White Rayla's adjutant, I would like a word with you, Witcher. I spoke to Rayla. Heard enough for today. Rayla is an excellent officer and truly detests non humans. Perfect to lead this mission. But let me guess. Though she's a mercenary, she has her honor and keeps her word. Yet she's prepared to avert a massacre of civilians, even if that means the elves will escape. We foiled the robbery at Vivaldi's bank, and the Scoia'tael are weakened. We can afford the best mercenaries, yet we cannot trust Rayla as we trust you. Looking to recruit me? <laughs> Am I to stand with Rayla and kill the elves before they murder the hostages? Give me one good reason why I shouldn't just walk. I'll put it in your terms. Monsters infest the village, hunt its inhabitants. They are destitute and hungry, and all the more dangerous for that. Stand with Raylor, Witcher, with the Order, against these monsters. Why would I do that? For some of Vivaldi's gold? No, to support a just cause and prevent a massacre like that in the outskirts, and to save your friends from ravenous beasts. I'm already a knight. I'm a knight of the Lady of the Lake, so fuck off. I'm not interested in your game. We foiled the robbery at Vivaldi's bank, and the Scoia'tael are weakened. We can afford the best mercenaries, yet we cannot trust Rayla as we trust you. We can't trust anyone these days, I guess. Geralt? Dandelion. Teruviel's elves have taken hostages in the village. What do we do? I spoke with Rayla. She's leading the Knights of the Order. Geralt. Alvin's one of the hostages. I know. I'll try negotiating with them. All right. I'll keep a lookout behind the village mayor's house. When you're ready, come tell me what to do. I need to talk to White Rayla and Teruviel. Somehow I doubt this will be easy. You'll manage. See you. <laughs> All right, Dindalai. I must speak with Truhill, Truhill before I decide. Okay, let's see what she tells us.
Wait a sec, please. strange. I can hear what they're thinking. It's terrible, Geralt. Do you have the necklace? Yes, I wear it all the time. I don't want to hear them. Geralt, why are the elves doing this? <laughs> their loss, their lofty, beautiful veneer. One can clearly see the deep hatred they hold for humans. <laughs> they all refuse to concede that the world has changed. They cannot win, but still they fight. It's their sad, desperate attempt of halting evolution. The elves refuse to concede that the world has changed. They cannot win, but still they fight. It's their sad, desperate attempt at halting evolution. I'll remember that, Geralt. Something bad is about to happen. I can feel it. I've got to talk to Teruviel. Stay here. Elvin was captured by elves. I have to rescue him. He wouldn't stop asking questions. I told him that the elves are a relic of the past and they refuse to accept this. I need to speak with True Hill. Then the lion is incapable of holding his tongue. He's trying to convince me not to get involved. He wants to meet me after I speak with True Hill before I make any decisions. I must speak with True Hill before I decide. Alright. This music is nice. I fear these elves will murder us all. Save us, Master Geralt. First we take the Zima, then the world. Are you stupid? Oh, my regards, Mr. Witcher. Why? Take no pity on them. Humans are intruders. I cannot wait to fight. We aim to win back our world. Mercy! Hmm. We fight alongside dwarves, but elves will lead the approaching war. Spare my life, Master Elf. I've done your kind no harm. Geralt. Why have you come? I've come to prevent a massacre. There will be no massacre if they let us depart. You could have left the children alone. In faith, I could not. White Rayla stands on that shore. Several peasant corpses made no impression on her. The children halted her advance. White Rayla wants you to lay down your arms. She guarantees you a fair trial. You take me for a fool, Witcher. White Rayla exacts only one punishment, death. The unit from the Zima spoke of you. Why should I trust you? Release the peasants, then you can kill each other as you please. I shall release no one. Try any of your tricks and these Dwan will die. And tell that singer to cease lurking behind the house before someone puts an arrow in his arse. I should take to talk to them, the line and decide what, what to do. I have these cells still in place to stupid. Die. Look 
at those elves. Yeah, they play stupid. Geralt? I'll find you later. Hmm. There is an option of talking to Elvin again. Geralt, take me with you. I'll be good. Patience, Elvin. It's all right. Geralt? Dandelion, things have gone from bad to worse. Scoyatel on one side, the Order on the other, and us in the middle with Alvin. One should never negotiate with terrorists. Negotiation leads to concessions. Concessions are a victory for terror. Folks become fearful, uncertain. I chose the lesser evil. The bank's new owners were grateful for the Order's intervention. They agreed to support the crusade against non-humans. We won't need to wait long to see the results. Time to play Elvin's favorite Geralt, game. what now? Leaving's not an option. You'd make enemies of both the Order and the non-humans. I'm not worried about that. I'd rather save Alvin, but if I go, there could be a massacre, and I have friends to think about. Witcher, this feels like a pivotal moment. What you do will have consequences. So do we grab Alvin and leave them to it? Um... Elvin's favorite game, you mean disappearing? Hmm. Maybe we should help the knights like we did before. What the hell? Well, okay. Exactly. What should I do? Find the Fisher King and tell him to be ready. We're going back to Vizima. All right. See you at the lakeside. Kills. Okay. I want to get Alvin out of here. I can't allow him to be harmed in any way. The little one has come to love you as a son loves a father. We do not kill children. Take him with you. Used to meddle in this conflict. I'm leaving. It's time to return to Izima and deal with other Javas once and for all. Alvin was terrified and teleported away during the fight. I doubt I'll find him. Alvin disappeared in a teleport born of his untamed magical abilities and his fear. I couldn't stop him and now I've lost track of him. I was supposed to protect him. Alvin was terrified and teleported away during the fight. I doubt I'll find him. Dandelion is right. I refuse to get involved. I'll grab Elvin and we will flee to Vizima. Agree to meet the poet in, at Fisher King's hut. I refuse to meddle in this conflict. I'm leaving. Time to return to Vizima and to deal with other Javed once and for all. I need to find my friends in the city. They should help me locate the Salamandra hideout. It's time to return to Vizima and deal with the other Javed once and for all. But first... Hey, they're all enemies. 
here. I guess we need to kill them. I don't want to be enemies with the order. I can kill both sides though. Gerald? Dandelion, things have gone from bad to worse. Scoyatel on one side, the Order on the other, and us in the middle with Alvin. One should never negotiate with terrorists. Negotiation leads to concessions. Concessions are a victory for terror. Folks become fearful, uncertain. I chose the lesser evil. The Bank's new Orders were grateful for the Order's intervention. They agreed to support the crusade against non-humans. We won't need to wait long to see the results. Geralt, what now? Leaving's not an option. You'd make enemies of both the Order and the non-humans. I'm not worried about that. I'd rather save Alvin, but if I go, there could be a massacre, and I have friends to think about. Witcher, this feels like a pivotal moment. What you do will have consequences. So do we grab Alvin and leave them to it? No, I intend to help the Knights. Don't get involved, Geralt. Nothing good ever comes of it. I've decided. Care to help? Sure. I want to get Alvin out of here. I can't allow him to be harmed in any way. The little one has come to love you as a son loves a father. We do not kill children. Take him with you. So nothing even changed. my heart. The Order is always victorious. Eternal Good fire, man and ale. Fighting the on. only good elf is a devil. The Eternal Fire. The Eternal Fire. On. The Order is always master. victorious. The Eternal Fire guides my fighting arm. Um, I don't understand. I wouldn't mind an ale.
Smash the non-humans! The eternal fire guides my fighting arm. And nobody cares. Yeah, I could check them them both out. I made my choice and sealed it in blood. The blood of all who chose to oppose me. There is no going back now. The fight is over. I need to grab Dendel and leave this place. Okay, we had that. I need to find my friends in the city. They should help me locate the last Salamander hideout. But these others are dead. Well, I could take them both. That would be fun. The hell? It is locked. Everything is locked now. Shit. The truth is, he really can't stay neutral. We also need to level up. Let's go see my personal healer. Hmm. What can she tell us about all that? Witcher. What happened? Fucking fanatics, not an ounce of professionalism. They stripped me of my command. When I refused to attack, my adjutant pulled out a letter from Siegfried. Had it all along. Well... How did it go?
help the knights, Rayla. The elves are dead. Teruviel escaped, and the villagers are in shock. You'd best leave. I don't intend to stay. Teruviel hasn't seen the last of me. Farewell. It appears that Rayla did not go back on her word. Based on the secret order, the adjutant has stripped her of her command. Let's assume I would believe her. Time I was on my way. Well, that's some news. There's no good bull. Hmm, this diet is here. Let's talk. Farewell. Alright, let's give some new challenge. Need to do that. Alright. Also, we need to. Uh, cook a potion. So, from what it, it is made of? Dragon set, okay. Alcohol, high quality alcohol. Okay, I guess this uh, means that top quality alcohol must be used as a base. So, right now we don't have any. So, probably we should uh, cook it somewhere else. I mean, with Zima. Yeah, we don't have these all these effects, so we j we'll just uh, we'll just increase our uh, just take our talents, the ones we can take. Cookie potions. Yeah, right. <laughs> Let's take this 
damage. Group silver, more damage. Precise hit. Good. This will help us. I hope. Okay, where can we take more bronze talents? This is not needed. We get that. Oh hell. I don't have much use for bronze talents now. You can unlock full array of moves during fist fights. Or it could could just take something more useful, like that for, for instance. Well, this is not useful at all, as we don't do anything of blinding our opponents. about the Lady of the Lake. On an island in the middle of the lake, I encountered a supernatural being known as the Lady of the Lake. She is a nymph or a viola. Both the inhabitants of the nearby villages and the monsters of the lake worship her. Are you wanted to see this? <laughs> okay. Last time you probably skipped the other picture. Like that one. I felt dizzy almost constantly in the idyllic settings of murky waters. Love is in the air and, like the scent of flowers worn by the sun, it distracts me. The people here seem to feel the same. And of course, Geralt seduced some uh, damsels in this area. <laughs> Let's just say that. Come here, cut enough. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we also um, seduced Selena, as you might remember. Selena, like, seems like Tobias Hoffman, the elder's daughter, is jealous of her little sister Alina, who is getting married. And we received that. Yeah, let's move. I have the idea, um, we might test the idea of getting out of the situation without taking anyone. I guess that, that one. Let's say what uh, this Madame Mercenary will tell. Geralt? Wait here. 
I'll try talking to Alvin. Monster! Geralt, take me with you. I'll be good. Patience, Alvin. It's all right. Geralt, why have you come? I've come to prevent a massacre. There will be no massacre if they let us depart. You could have left the children alone. In faith, I could not. White Rayla stands on that shore. Several peasant corpses made no impression on her. The children halted her advance. White Rayla wants you to lay down your arms. She guarantees you a fair trial. You take me for a fool, Witcher. White Rayla exacts only one punishment, death. The unit from the Zima spoke of you. Why should I trust you? Release the peasants, then you can kill each other as you please. I shall release no one. Try any of your tricks and these Dwan will die. And tell that singer to cease lurking behind the house before someone puts an arrow in his ass. When will this end? Geralt? Dandelion, things have gone from bad to worse. Scoyatel on one side, the Order on the other, and us in the middle with Alvin. One should never negotiate with terrorists. Negotiation leads to concessions. Concessions are a victory for terror. Folks become fearful, uncertain. I chose the lesser evil. The bank's new owners were grateful for the Order's intervention. They agreed to support the crusade against non-humans. We won't need to wait long to see the results. Geralt, what now? Leaving's not an option. You'd make enemies of both the Order and the non-humans. I'm not worried about that. I'd rather save Alvin, but if I go, there could be a massacre, and I have friends to think about. Witcher, this feels like a pivotal moment. What you do will have consequences. So do we grab Alvin and leave them to it? Exactly. What should I do? Find the Fisher King and tell him to be ready. We're going back to Vizima. All right. See you at the lakeside. I want to get Alvin out of here. I can't allow him to be harmed in any way. The little one has come to love you as a son loves a father. We do not kill children. Take him with you.
I made my choice in suit and blood, the blood of all who choose to oppose me. There is no going back now. Well... Loot <laughs> Inc. <laughs> Incorporated. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm just curious what will, uh, what consequences will have that course of action. Witcher. What happened? Fucking fanatics, not an ounce of professionalism. They stripped me of my command. When I refused to attack, my adjutant pulled out a letter from Siegfried. Had it all along. Well... How did it go? I decided to stay out of the fight. What of the elves? And I don't care who won. The victors should arrive at any moment. Time to abandon this post. The Fisher King's boat is taken. We'll meet again. It appears that Ryla did not go back on her word, but in a secret order the adjutant has stripped her of her command, let's assume I believe her. Well, let's check it out and I will have to go to bed soon, so let's check out our options here and uh, be done with it. Carol? This is bad. You like this uh, option more? That <laughs> they killed everyone, every uh, one of them? Why? <laughs> This is bad. Really bad. What happened? Alvin opened a portal and disappeared. He could be anywhere. We need to get back to Vizima. Triss might have some ideas. Vizima it is, then. After you.
Uf. Yeah, some explanation. Oof. We arrive in Vizima soon. Hmm. Smell that? Yeah. Smoke. Something's burning. Heavy and stifling, like thatched roof huts. Damn it, Geralt, look! God damn it, Geralt. I can't believe what I'm seeing. You should be used to the sight of fighting by now, Dandelion. We should never grow accustomed to violence and horror, especially the sensitive among us. Luckily, we mutants have no feelings, is that what you mean? Shut up and tell me what you're doing. Berengar's letter contains some clues. To start with, we need to get into the city. That will be neither easy nor safe. I agree. But I won't give up now that I'm so close. Nose to the ground, forging on. You're like a bloodhound on a fresh trail. Old Vizima awaits. Probably the site of the heaviest fighting, then there's the plague. We need to get inside. Finally, I'll find out who's behind Salamandra. Geralt? You sure you want to come? I'd never desert you. I want to help. But matters may get intense. I hope you don't think I'm scared. Not at all. I'm going to hold Zima to hunt down the Salamandra boss. I knew you'd be back sooner or later. You missed a lot. Greetings, Vincent. Why are you here? I'm responsible for King Radovid's safety while he's in Temeria. We'd be deep in it if anything would have happened to him. Has Foltest returned? Yes. He's an old Vizima. Knowing whose orders we're following really boosted morale. I need to get into old Vizima. I stand a chance of getting in alone, but not with... Do you follow? What's going on? I have a job for you, Dandelion, regarding King Radovid. The Witcher's flapping tongue would be a liability. Why do I think you're up to something? It's true. I'm not suited to converse with kings. Done. Dandelion, wait for me at the king's camp. Geralt, do what you must. Good luck, Witcher. Away the army, you damned city guards! Oh my. Thank you, Geralt. Thanks again. How are the girls? They still speak of you. Shani and I have become friends. Good. I hope she's well. She treats the sick and wounded no matter their race. Not all look kindly on that. I see. Unfortunately, I haven't seen her since it all began. I'll try to find her. Yeah, Farewell. there was Zoltan, I saw him. <laughs> Geralt? Let's go. Halt! Greetings, Geralt. Your Highness. Congratulations on the Professor. Pompous twit tried to blackmail me once. Thanks for the good news. My pleasure. What brings you here? I want to finish off Salamandra. Good. Finish the bastards. What's the situation in Vizima? Total chaos. But thanks to my agents, Foltest returned and is trying to restore order. I see. I'd like to be on my way, sire. Farewell.
Long live the king! Ah, you're in time for quite a scrap. Looks quiet. All quiet at the front. Here they clash, there they grunt and again. All quiet at the front. Yavin won. Almost all Vesima's non-humans took up arms. How'd that happen? When the Order started killing women and children, even the most assimilated elves rebelled. Dumbest move since the age of King Desmod. Maybe the Grand Master wanted to provoke non-humans. As if that wasn't enough. Rumors surfaced about non-humans being resettled in Old Vesima because we're more susceptible to plague. Fucking fairy tale, of course. What are you doing here? We need to repel the attacking knights. Then I want to lead the civilians and Shani's patients out of Old Vesima. Shani's in Old Vesima? She's organized a kind of field hospital. She mentioned you. I'll try breaking through to her. Great, we must get Shani out of the hospital in Old Vizima. Well, if um, these knights started to kill even children, then they are no better than the squads also. We made the right decision by killing them. And uh, I really now don't care <laughs> for them. Except maybe... Uh, our friend Yeah, and Zoltan will, will be angry at me Zoltan is our bro more than uh, our new friend Just spawn infinitely. Fuck off, man. Yeah, I'll go to bed too. Thank you, bro. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I hope that we'll uh, see. Uh, the continuing, the, uh, the con I mean, um, the uh, following uh, um, consequences of everything we did here today. So I hope you all good night, and um, if you like the stream, please follow it, and um, see you next time. Uh, I wish you good night and bye.